Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to have you again. We hope you are having a fantastic and wonderful week as always. It's Friday. It's time for a Twinkle Tips Friday video and I've got just the thing for you coming right up. Well, folks, I had an idea to do something special this week, and I come up with something that I think a lot of people might find rather fun and interesting, considering sequencing is hard. I mean, just look at the X-Lite screen there, and there's so many options for sequencing that you just don't know where to begin in some cases. There are some things that X-Lites will do for you. Not a whole lot when it comes to sequencing, but it has a number of options that will allow you to utilize the sound that's in the song to kind of take sequencing to a different level. So I'm going to split this video up into two different videos because I think the, there's a lot of information and I want to make sure that you all kind of get a good handle on the first set and then we'll move on to the second set next week while Robert and I are at the uh, Florida Mega Mini. So let's go ahead and get right to it. There are there are a number of effects in x lights that have some built-in auto sequencing that goes along with the music, and maybe you didn't know. And I'll share a couple of these options with you. So now first I want to mention the music. The MP3 that we're using is from Pixabay. Uh, it's called Christmas Mood, so you can go download this. This is a, a free MP3. You can... Uh, uh, share it, uh, you can use it, and you can sequence it if you want to. But I'm using it today as a way for us to um, demonstrate some functions in x -Lights. And the first function I want to share with you, I've just created this new sequence. So let's go ahead and add a timing track. Now, if you followed the other videos for Audacity Vampire plugins, uh, or the Queen Mary Vamp plugins, that is, uh, you'll know that you can go in here, add a timing track, and x -Lights has some built-in timings. So some of these are going to be useful for quote-unquote auto-sequencing or x -Lights automagic sequencing, if you will. They'll come in handy. So if, if not in this part, in the second part of this video. So you want to make sure that you have these installed. I'm just going to go get the Bars and Beat Tracker. I'm going to go to Beats. And I'm going to take uh, Bars and Beat Tracker Beats, and I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to leave this all as default, and I'm going to click OK. And here, if we play the music now, do you see how these beats are lining up exactly with these little uh, these timing marks here? And what X uh, what the the plugins do is they they search out those beats, they kind of generalize it, and sometimes they'll nail it right on. Sometimes they're not as perfect as we want them to be. Let's be honest. Uh, but just like any other generative system, you may have to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to switch over here. Let's go into our uh, Mega Tree uh, view, and uh, I'm going to take that timing. Let's go back and display elements and bring that timing over because you can do that. There's the beats. We'll bring it over here and boom. One of the things that we can do is we can start going through the effects that actually have uh, sequencing events in them that work with either timing tracks or just the sound of the music. And the first one we're going to go to is we're going to go to the fire effect. So if we pull the fire effect down here, put it on the matrix, and we just watch the fire effect. It doesn't do anything dramatic, right? Well, that's why we have this checkbox here that says grow with music. And now when we re-render or click it again, you can see, so now you can see how the fire effect is affected by the way the music is rolled off of the uh, waveform. And it's pretty interesting because it depends on exactly what you're trying to do in x -Lights. This might be something that you're looking to do and it's rather easy. Uh, there is no adjustment control for this. So you can't, you, you, oh, this is too much or this is too little. It's automatic. There's no uh, adjustment to this. So the second effect is the fireworks effect. Let's go ahead up here and grab the fireworks effect. It's right beside the fire effect. And if we click and drag it out here, 
we can we can see that by default I've got some pretty firework colors going off there just in its default setting there is a checkbox here with fire with music so if we click on that <clears throat> and let's add a second color into this let's add red and here we go we can see a little bit of red and yellow fireworks going there and they're bouncing not bouncing to the beat but they're actually they're they're actually synchronizing to the beat so that's rather interesting it's really it, i think it's helpful for people who have you know that they're looking to sp specifically do something interesting the third effect that might be helpful whenever it comes to kind of auto sequencing and x lights that would be the meteors effect so if we go ahead pull the meteors down there is a checkbox here that says adjust count based on the music so if we do that you can see here that it adjusts the count based on how the sound is in the song so if we play it So now you can sit here and kind of play with it and you can play with the trail length and maybe you want to add swirls to it. Maybe you want to add a different speed. You could you could update the speed and see how that works. And we'll see. Actually it looks pretty interesting. Just by making a couple of changes, there's a little bit of auto sequencing and you didn't have to think about it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is one of my most enjoyable favorite effects that I, I love to play with. This is the music effect. Now, uh, many, many people always ask, well, how do you come up with some of the really cool effects? Well, honest to God, usually layering with the music effect does a lot of really cool stuff. And so, but th there's a couple things that you need to know about the music effect. The music effect uses a little bit of scaled music based on the MIDI notes that are being heard or played in the MP3 that you're listening to. So as you can see, there's only a few little things going off here in the music effect whenever you place it. Now, the music effect relies on their, the ability to have music for it to play for you. Now, what does that mean? It means that if there's no music track, the music effect doesn't do anything. So you have to have a music track. You can't just open up a blank sequence, a, a animation sequence, and use the music effect. This is also another reason why whenever I create preset effects, and we use those for the members every, every month in the club, they don't get music effects brought in because whenever you import them, you can't see any activity. And so any layered effects aren't going to show up very well. So let's adjust. Let's listen to the music. That's really, really high notes. Let's let's kind of adjust up our end note and maybe our start note. Let's see what that does. See if we get any more play in that. And then another thing you could do is you could add a couple more bars to this. And so one of the things that you do have to do whenever you play with the music effect is you have to adjust settings. One of the first ones I always hit is scale bars. And scale bars takes the numbers of bars that you've uh, got applied and it spreads it across all of the entire uh, the, the grid that is available for X lights to apply the effects. If we go less bars, you see how they get wider. And we go more bars, they get tinier or skinnier. So this song, if you run it at the start note, this is a note, this is a MIDI number. Uh, and MIDI goes from 127 to, or 0 to 127. Uh, you can change these to get a better result uh, where you might find, and there you, you, you can see, as you adjust things, things tend to start doing something just a little bit more. So if we kind of use less bars, uh, and we use that scale, and then we start using other things in the music effect, like sensitivity. If we uh, turn the sensitivity down, uh, it's a lower number, so it's way more sensitive, so it gets more feedback if you turn it up. Maybe it doesn't do as much. So you can adjust this based on how sensitive you want it to be. And then finally, with the notes, uh, with the note scaling, I see I have none selected. One of the things I like to do is individual notes. That seems to sometimes be a little bit more interesting. You don't get to control the speed at which some of these go, but take the time to start playing with some of those sliders. You'll get a couple different reactions. You might find that these are some options that you might enjoy sequencing with. So our next option 
that we're going to talk about with sequencing and auto sequencing and x lights happens to deal with the shapes effect. So the shapes effect is right here. We'll go ahead and click and drag it down and apply it across the matrix here. So what you see here, and and there's a couple things I don't want to get deep into how the uh, how the shapes effect works, but I do want to mention that it has a fire with music, and I'm just going to select that real quick. And if you notice, we play this. Sounds like it's a lot of fun because it actually does fire the music track along with the objects that you want to draw. Then the nice thing about the shapes effect, let's be honest, is you've got so many options. The shapes effect is a lot of fun to play with. Don't get stuck here. But here's the ellipse. Uh, here is the triangle. So you can have triangles. Uh, you can put different layers in and do this with different shapes. Uh, so you can have triangles and stars and hearts at the same time. So that's the shapes effect and the fire with music function. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we have the strobe effect. So I'll go ahead and grab that. We'll put the strobe up here. And we'll go ahead and just by the default, the strobe is nothing but twinkly lights. It's kind of like the... Um, kind of like the twinkle effect but it's not the twinkle effect because it doesn't work exactly the same way there's a lot of difference between twinkle and uh strobe i, I they, they both have their place but the react to music is a lot of fun so if you watch the music here That gives you a pretty good estimation that it, it can it can keep the beat. If there's a lot of twinkle in there, this is where it's really interesting. And then, of course, you can play with all these different modes just by moving the number of strobes. You can add more strobes. You can add less strobes. Uh, you could have a, a longer strobe duration and, uh, and different strobe types. So there's different ones there. So let's play with that one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, especially with that background music. So you never know what's going to fit until you put an effect down. And sometimes, like, I think that's a home run. I like that. That's I, I, If I were sequencing a song, this would be on a couple of the props right now. That would be a lot of fun to play with. So the last one we're going to look at is Tendril. And if we pull the Tendril down here and we go down to the uh, matrix, let's go ahead and stretch this out. So Tendril looks kind of like a little... Um, I don't know. What, what, I don't know what you call that. Uh, but if you come over here to the movement tab, if we drop down and we go to, let's say, the music line, and if you, what what X Slice is going to do is it's going to tell the tendril, hey, listen to the waveform and come up with something that's interesting for this. Now, it may not always be interesting. Let me shorten this because it might look a little better whenever it's shorter. So it, it, it actually feels like it's kind of going back and forth and bouncing to the beat. Something that might be a little bit more fun to play with, Music Circle. Let's go ahead and see what that's like. I feel like it's kind of going along with the beat there, you know? I think it's I, I think it sounds uh, I think it looks like it's having a lot of fun. I feel like it's kind of really going with the music there. Um I, I think another thing too. Uh, that you can add to pretty much any effect that's in X lights and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bars effect for this uh, actually the color wash color wash is one of my favorites we go over here to color wash and we'll grab the the color wash this is kind of your bonus uh, I know I said tendril was the last one but one of the things that I enjoy doing is I enjoy using the color wash it has a vertical fade a horizontal fade um, and it has a reverse fade now you can reverse it that thanks to Kevin from uh, one of the developers and one of the things that you can do with this is on the color palette if we go over to the color palette and we use this checkbox that says sparkles reflect music then you can kind of see how the, X lights will um, use the music line to determine how many sparkles will go with the music as opposed to you having to sit there and say oh I just want one sparkle because sometimes one sparkle is more than enough but sometimes you want the the whenever the volume goes down you want less sparkles and using the sparkles reflect music checkbox in the color palette should give you a little bit of differentiation whenever you go from a louder music to a softer music 
So now guys, I want you to go back and I want you to open up X-Lights and I want you to find a song and I want you to play with these effects and give them a shot. Have a good time messing around with them. They work with the music. You don't have to sequence them, but there's options to let them sequence automatically for you and they certainly do come in handy. That's all the time I have today, guys. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you next week at the Florida Mega Mini. We are excited to get to Florida and can't wait to see you. And if you like cool shirts just like this, consider heading over to pixelprodisplays.com. Click on shop and scroll down to swag and gear. You can pick up your own official PPD t-shirt. We have two different shirts to choose from. This is the uh, Titans of Twinkle t-shirt and the other one here, the Pixel Me This t-shirt from exclusively from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you again for joining us, folks. If you like what we do here, please give us a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our Twinkle Tip Friday videos. We hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy it with your friends, family, and as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now. So, with that, let's get right. Let's get right to it. Uh, you don't see those in there, um, but just uh, it's blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs>